Hi everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Veena and I am Master Teacher of Chemistry. Today I am going to discuss in the last topic of this lesson that is refining of metals, corrosion, prevention of corrosion. Actually I want to thank to all who subscribed this channel already and I am very thankful to all of you. It's your support. So let's watch this video. That is various reduction process described above are not very pure. They contain impurities which must be removed to obtain pure metals. The most widely used method for refining pure metal is electrolytic refining. That is electrolytic refining. Metals such as copper, zinc, tin, nickel, silver, gold, etc. are refined electrolytically. In this process, in this electrolytic refining process, the impure metal is made anode and a thin strip of pure metal is made as cathode. So, impure metal is made as anode and another important thing it is thin strip, thin only. This thin strip is uh, pure metal is made as cathode. A solution of metal salt is used as electrolyte. That is the which metal we have to uh, use the for for using the electrolytic refining. That metal salt is used as electrolyte. And apparatus is set as of now. Show we have to show in the figure. On passing the current through this electrolyte, when we press the key on this passing the current through the pure metal from the anode, dissolve in the electrolyte. This pure metal is dissolved. So here we are taken as copper sulfate. This copper dissolved in the electrolyte and equivalent amount of this pure metal from the electrolyte is deposited at the cathode. Look at like this, they are deposited. We already studied the cathode, there is a thin strip. And impure, uh, these soluble impurities, whatever impurities is there, uh, that is go into the solution, whereas insoluble impurities settle down at the bottom of this anode. This is, they are settled down at the bottom of this anode that is known as anode mud. This anode mud, like copper, this copper releases two electrons, they form copper 2 plus ion. This copper 2 plus ion plus 2 electron they accepted they form a copper metal. So take out this cathode uh, we, are, we get a pure copper strip. This is method is known as electrolytic refining. Next topic corrosion. We have learned the following about the corrosion in chapter 1. In the first case look at the case of silver. Silver articles become black uh, after some time when exposed to air. Why? This is because it reacts with sulfur in the air to form silver sulfide. This is another type of corrosion. Second case, copper. Copper reacts with moist carbon dioxide in the air. It slowly loses the shiny appearances and gains green coat. This green coat is known as copper carbonate. Sil in the case of silver it is a black coat and in the case of copper it is a green coat. And third case it is in the case of iron. We already know that. We already studied in the first lesson. When iron exposed to moist air for a long time it acquires a brown flaky substances that is known as rust. So iron react with oxygen we get a fe 3 dot xh2o this is the rest brown color prevention of corrosion rust is prevented by preventing the reaction between atmospheric moisture and ion articles this can be done by painting greasing galvanization electroplating alloy 
uh, painting we know that greasing also we know the galvanization means galvanization is a method of protecting steel and iron from rust by coating them with a thin layer of zinc by coating with a thin layer of zinc next alloying the alloys means the homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a metal and a non metal is called alloy properties of alloys first property alloys are stronger than a metal from which they are obtained second it is more resistant to corrosion third point that is melting point of alloy is lower than the constituent metals once again i will repeat alloys are stronger than metal from which they are obtained second more resistant third one melting point of alloys is lower than this metal examples of alloys examples that is brass first one brass brass means we know that 80% copper and 20% zinc alloy of 80% copper and zinc otherwise you can write you don't write the percentage copper and zinc second bronze here also alloy of 90% copper and 20% tin that is alloy of copper and tin third one solder here it is 50% lead and 50% tin fourth one steel that is nine steel means 99% of iron plus 4% of copper plus 0.05% of carbon no need of remembering this percentage you can directly write iron plus copper plus carbon that is steel next one it is stainless steel that means 74% iron plus 18% that is chromium plus 8% nickel sixth one alloys of gold pure gold is said to be 24 karat gold is alloyed with small amount of silver or copper that it make it hard the last topic types of alloys the first type of alloy is amalgam amalgam means an alloy in which mercury is present here it is uh, sodium amalgam is there sodium amalgam the formula goes to sodium and mercury that is sodium amalgam and the next one zinc amalgam that is zinc and mercury that is zinc amalgam second amalgam is ferrous alloys types of alloy it is on a ferrous alloys the it is an uh, alloy in which iron is present Na, third one it is non ferrous alloys that uh, here an alloy does not contain um, that is iron that does not contain iron that is these are the types of alloys the portion completed i hope all of them understood the third lesson metals and non metals